Understanding, sort yourself out, a guide to English phrases. Hello everyone, today, we're diving into the world of English expressions. Our focus is on a very interesting phrase, sort yourself out. This expression can be a bit tricky to understand, especially for non-native speakers. So let's explore what it really means and how you can use it in everyday conversations. Sort yourself out is an idiomatic phrase in English, which basically means to take action to improve or rectify one's own behavior or situation. It often implies that something is not right or in good order with the person it's directed at. This phrase can be used in various contexts, from light-hearted advice to serious admonishments. Here, we'll explore different scenarios where sort yourself out might be used. In personal improvement, when someone is not behaving as expected or is facing personal issues, a friend might say, you really need to sort yourself out. In professional settings, at work, if someone is not meeting expectations, a supervisor could use the phrase more formally. I suggest you sort yourself out to meet the project deadlines. In casual conversations, among friends, it might be used in a more playful manner. You lost your keys again? Sort yourself out, mate. It's important to understand the tone and context when using this phrase, as it can sometimes come across as harsh or critical. Cultural differences. In some cultures, direct phrases like this are common, while in others, they might be seen as rude. Tone of voice. The way you say, sort yourself out, greatly affects its interpretation. A friendly tone can make it sound like helpful advice, while a stern tone might sound like a reprimand. Let's see how, sort yourself out, can be incorporated into different sentences. After the breakup, he took some time off to sort himself out. If you keep arriving late to meetings, you'll need to sort yourself out. She's been struggling with her course, so I advised her to sort herself out before the exams. Sort yourself out is a versatile phrase in English, useful in many contexts, from personal improvement to professional advice. Remember, the key lies in understanding the situation and tone in which it's used. We hope this video helps you grasp this phrase better and use it confidently in your English conversations. Thanks for watching, and keep learning!